Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out Water Piano by Impact Soundworks. Water Piano represents a collaboration between Impact Soundworks and YouTuber Matthias Krantz, who is known for his imaginative experiments with guitars and pianos. True to the name, Water Piano is the result of Matthias filling a grand piano with 34 gallons of water and recording it at different water levels, from dry to submerged. This uniquely prepared piano moves from the traditional sound of a grand piano into unique territory, both with the wet samples and the sound design snapshots. Water Piano is compatible with the Free Contact Player version 6.7 or above. It requires 2GB of disk space and includes 31 snapshot presets. Water Piano is available from Impact Soundworks for $69, but at time of review was available for the introductory price of $59. We're going to dive right in, but before we do, I just want to show you this knob here because this one's kind of important. This is this is a wetness section now. Usually when you see wetness in a library, what do you think of? Reverb. Um, this one is actually not reverb. This actually controls the wet level of the samples. So when you have it all the way down, it's the fully dry samples, and then all the way up are the fully submerged samples when the, when the water is filling the piano. Now, you do have an actual impulse response reverb here. There's different types. Each uh, The higher the type, the longer the impulse response. And you do have some, some effects where you can actually take effects from the piano and kind of dial those in as well, um, which you can see here. You've got just different, different sounds, swishing, whisk, slaps, all sorts of different things that you can kind of blend in just to add to the realism of the instrument. And here you have just a number of different snapshots that we're going to go through and, and give you a preview of what you can expect. But let's just just listen to it straight out of the box. This is just, once it's been loaded into your DAW, exactly what it sounds like. a really lovely just kind of decay to it very cinematic Really gorgeous sound. This is what it sounds like with just the dry samples itself, using just a little bit of the reverb from the impulse response, a little of the freeze function, and some of the water effects. Again, I really like that impulse response. Now you can see the different sections. You've got your playback section. This is pretty straightforward. Your bend range just controls how um, how far when you use the pitch bend wheel, how far that actually transposes the, the uh, note that you're playing. The transpose, obviously, you know what that is. You've got an ADSR here, and then your settings, you've got the tone, which obviously just controls your tone. You've got sample offset that you can use, key release noise, um, the, the anti-repetition that you can uh, insert as well. And then you've got the high dampers, when this is enabled, it behaves just as a normal piano would with the release of the high keys. When you take it off, um, it just it, it releases them, I think, a little more sharply. And of course, round robin and pedal noise um, on your perform side. 
you have a velocity curve that you can control. You can set your dynamics so that it's either less responsive or more responsive. Um, and it even has micro tuning. So let's turn that on just to give you an idea here. So, you know, we can, we can, well, actually let's just draw the ramp here. <laughs> That's a G chord. So you can hear, I, I kind of like the fact that you've got that micro tuning. I think Microsoft, or some Microsoft, excuse me, Impact Soundworks are taking that directly from um, some of the things they did with Middle Eastern instruments, like the uh, Koran was one of the libraries that had micro tuning in it. That feels like this engine comes directly from that. Which actually just adds kind of a nice detune sound as well. That's pretty cool. And you can see here, you can actually control. Wow, that's really cool. You've got all of these different, like Pythagorean, all of these different tones uh, in the in the microtonal scale. That's really cool. This is just a C, uh, a C scale here. That's really nice. I haven't, uh, haven't played around with that microtuning. Just intonation. Oh yeah, you can hear it's just a little out of tune. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, with all of that said, obviously you've got your console, which Impact Soundworks does a great job with their mixing console, allowing you to load just a ton of different effects. So many that they're actually falling out of the screen um, down here. So there's actually three more that you can load in there as well. But let's go ahead and just jump right into the snapshots, starting with absolute zero, it looks like this one has just the dry samples with a whole lot of wet going on. So I'm expecting a pad here. That's a really nice pad. I like that. And bathhouse, <laughs> true to the name, it's completely wet using the water samples. So we're going to get something really plucky here. if you heard that, but that gentle feel, if I hold down the keys, listen to that, listen to the sound of the water rushing in. That's really cool. Okay, bubble up. I forgot to show you is just your master effects here. So this actually controls, you know, you can turn the console on and off essentially. Let's go to Canadian Springs. Carbonated. Yeah. 
and circuit poured. and cold sleep? and colder sleep. and cry of the planet. and drowned tape. Now, interesting that they say drowned tape, but it's just the dry samples. But we do have a whole lot of reverb here. So let's see, and the freeze function. So let's see what this has got. Let's do, let's jump down to Hot Springs and see what that one has. and liminal pools. and Lo-Fi Girl Piano.
let's jump down to Lo-Fi Girl Piano 3. and Mall Fountain. and muted memories. On the rocks. And let's jump down to Rent Cycle. Now that sounds like a rent cycle. <laughs> Saloon piano? And spicy water, hmm. That has a very um, U2, uh, the Edge guitar sound to it, that delay. Let's jump down to Spicy Water 3. And let's jump down to Tack Water.
and let's end out with Wistful Memories. A very unique and interesting prepared piano that's been completely submerged in water. You do have your normal piano sounds. You've got a number of snapshots, 31 different snapshot presets, some sound design possibilities. And just to go to kind of give you that dry sound, this is the dry sound once again that you can get. And obviously you can do a lot with just this. But again, you know, with the snapshot presets and you've got, you know, your your different samples that have been submerged and have been dry. There's just a lot of possibilities here. Very interesting little library. I would never, ever even think of filling a piano with water. So this is definitely something that you're not going to get yourself. This is something that you couldn't create on your own. So a very unique library. Thanks for checking out Water Piano with me today. So what are your thoughts? Is this something you would want to use in your own tracks? Comment below and let us know your thoughts. Please like the video and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to check out samplelibraryreview.com for more news and reviews and stay in the know about weekly sales via our weekly deal compressor.